Uh, not too long ago, uh, I, I took a trip uh, to Finland, and uh, we actually did a, uh, ended up doing a special edition of Late Night, showing, uh, you know, all the things that I did uh, in Finland. And, it, you know, people seemed to really enjoy it. It was kind of a highlight for this show. We had a lot of adventures. Um, but there was actually some footage that we shot in Finland that didn't quite fit into the special. We were done making the special, and the special was very classy and highbrow and dignified. And uh, then there was some footage that didn't quite fit with everything else, and so we didn't include it in the special. And we were, uh, we've been looking at it, though, recently, and we thought it's interesting and probably should be seen. So uh, we thought we'd show that tonight. You see, while I was in Helsinki, I visited an art museum, and uh, an unusual art museum, and we thought we'd, uh, we'd show you what happened tonight. Check it out. You're having an exhibition now on male underwear. Uh, has the exhibit been popular? Yeah, it has been. It's a very important thing for Finnish males. Their underwear? Yeah. As you can see, they have a place where you park strollers uh, when you're taking your toddler to the male underwear exhibit. <laughs> you can you explain what's happening behind you right here? This. Well, this artwork of a uh, young uh, Finnish female artist, they, they were uh, her grandparents' underwear mm. that uh, she found from the attic of their house. and uh, Probably some... not what her grandparents would have wanted. Is <laughs> yeah. Take, uh, when we're gone and no longer with us, go into the attic, find our long, unwashed underwear and put it in the museum. Well, you never know. <laughs> do you say underwear or do you say underpants? Well, the Finnish word is alus hose, which is uh, like under pants. You know, what's funny is to me, underwear isn't funny. If mm -hmm. someone says, hey, there's underwear, it's mm -hmm. not funny. But what, when someone says, oh, look, I can see your underpants, I'm laughing. <laughs> underpants. I mean, even you, this is laughing for you, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think you should also see this one. Because this section is about, you know, the everyday life that, that uh, is related to underwear. <laughs> These would be nice postcards you could just write out, I miss you, on the back, you know? Nothing says I miss you like a guy in his long underwear with his old habit to do in full, you know what I'm saying? How do you refer to this male condition in, in Finnish? Well, ah, muhanu, you can say. It's a nickname for this thing. It, it, it's for this thing. It's yeah. called amuhan? Hanu. Amuhanu. It's mm. good, because it actually sounds like a guy going, those are the noises I tend to make yeah. when I'm in this condition. This is you, Nico. I recognize that wristwatch. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all very uncomfortable looking. Trust me, though, when I get excited, I need a pair of these. You know? So I'm just going to keep it all locked down. Rivets. <laughs> what pang look, look at this underwear right here, shredded in the back. Looks like this guy got it on with this guy right here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Good detective puts the pieces together. Well, this is the work of uh, Arto Korhonen, famous artist uh, who uses uh, watercolors. And all of the uh, models used are famous people, I'm told, famous Americans. This is Tony Shalhoub, star of <laughs> right here. This is from Fear Factor, Joe Rogan. Uh, this is exciting. Ed Asner, right here. And um, this is the, uh, you know, the tall guy from Everyone Loves Raymond. And, and Harry, uh, Harry Americans were kind enough, I guess, is this true, to pose for these? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You right. uh, close your eyes and lower your head when you lie, I'm just letting you know. Because you, kind of you, just, you just did that. You just, you just did it again when you pretended to be amused by me. Mm. Let's go this way and see what else we have. What is your name? Um, Dr. Pony. Dr. Pony. Yes. Okay. Dr. Pony, good to see you. Yeah. You say you're a doctor. Do you have a doctor's license? Uh, yes, I do. But you, I, could I, I see it, please? Uh, I don't have it with me. Oh, really? You don't have it with you? <laughs> yeah. You just don't happen to have your my, certification? Uh, yeah, but uh, they, it's my employee at the museum. You can ask them. Oh, sure. Yeah. They're not here. They just uh, left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> not a pity. Yeah. yeah. What's in your little uh, pink pouch? Uh, camera. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And what's in this one? Well... 
You don't seem anxious to open that one. I think now we know where the roofies are. <laughs> Nico, could you uh, tell me what, what we're looking at here? Well, it's underwear made out of canvas. Is there another thong that's made that's, say, something heartier, like uh, beef or uh, chicken or fish? This would be for mm -hmm. afterwards, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. You'd want to start with maybe a salad, mm -hmm. a leafy green thong, then maybe a protein, and then, then this would be fine. I would say just this thong alone seems irresponsible. I, I haven't seen ones, but uh, on, only with one made out of chewing gum. Chewing gum. Yeah, See, those are fine for saying, those are yeah. fine for snacking, but then that sends yeah. a bad message. Yeah. You, have you tried this? No, I haven't. I, I think it would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> if you think it would be uncomfortable, yeah. and when, but but then you wear it and you'll never go to anything else. In our country, this underwear was popularized by Larry King. <laughs> he likes the feeling of three straps. Do you know who Larry King is? Yeah, yeah I think we learned something. Else. We learned a lot about... We, we learned nothing, I think. That's right, we learned nothing. All right, we'll take a break.